Released to the public today, a major security vulnerability for all WordPress users who have not updated to WordPress Gutenberg. This vulnerability has been in WordPress core for six years. That is a really long time, but now it's been patched. Now we've all been told about it because it has been patched, so we all need to update. And we've been holding off on updating Gutenberg. I updated mine uh, a couple weeks ago. First, I tested on a staging site and everything went well. Updated my live sites, everything went well. So I suggest you do the same. Watch this video to find out what the vulnerability is and make sure that if you can, update your site to WordPress Gutenberg as soon as you can. Let's get into this video. And this was found by a company called Rips Technologies based in Germany. They help companies secure web applications. And they discovered this hack actually quite a while ago and they told WordPress devs about it who took a long time to patch it. And this is kind of a big deal. Now it's partially patched so that the this problem doesn't affect sites anymore, but there's still part of this issue that hasn't been patched yet, but at least this one is solved. And what this one allows a hacker to do is if they have an author privilege, they are able to execute PHP code to have a full remote takeover of the server, which is something you definitely don't want. You don't want hackers taking over your server and your site because they just take it down or they replace it with something else or they send email from your server as a spam server or any number of things. The good news is if you don't have any authors on your site, then this is not an issue because this requires the author privilege. So if you don't have any authors, you're not affected. You should still update because you always want to update to get rid of security patches. Gutenberg's been out for a while. A lot of issues have been resolved, so I think it's safe to update. I think it'd still be well advised to first update on a staging site. I have linked to the tutorial up above and in the description down below how you can make a staging site, update to Gutenberg, make sure nothing goes wrong, and then you can update the live site. So if you have authors on your site and you're not on WordPress 5, this definitely affects you. And the way hacking works in the WordPress world, you have companies like Rips and others who find security vulnerabilities, who don't publish them right away because they want to tell the developers first so they can patch it and then when it's patched, then they let everybody know because hackers take that information. Oh, look, there's security vulnerabilities. I'm going to take this information, build an automated bot and hack a bunch of WordPress sites, which they can still do because not everybody updates right away. When security patches become available, you always want to make sure you try to update as soon as possible. And nearly every plugin update and theme update and WordPress core update contains some kind of security patch that is described in the update. And it's not just referring to this one, any security patch. The hackers then go and look, okay, what's, what was patched this week in which plugins? Okay, great. I'm going to scan a bunch of sites and see if I can get access to them. And hopefully they haven't updated yet and I can get in there really easily. So that's how WordPress hacking works for the most part, especially when they're attacking smaller sites like ours would be. But if you're Forbes.com or the Pentagon, if you're using WordPress, you might have a hacker who's hands-on and actually trying to actively hack that particular site. Whereas most WordPress site hacks are done in an automated fashion. So long story short, update WordPress to 5.01 or whatever it is now, 5.03 whatever it is now, update to the latest version. Before you do that, make sure you test it on a staging site or some kind of development server, test it somewhere so you can make sure it doesn't break anything because it has been a big concern with WordPress Gutenberg. And if you don't want to use the Gutenberg editor, you can use the Jeff Star plugin link to in the description down below where you can keep the classic editor. It's almost like you didn't even update, but at least the security patch is there. So you're still running the latest version of WordPress, but you get your old editor back and if you like the old editor, that's the way to go. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure you check out my video on the top 10 most common security mistakes I see over and over again on WordPress. I released that video just a couple hours ago. It's linked to in the description down below, maybe the card up above. And one of the top 10 most common mistakes is not updating WordPress, which this hack that we're discussing right now falls into. So it's a very common mistake to not update, not make sure security patches are applied and leaving your sites vulnerable. So make sure you check out that video to see if you're doing the other nine or any of them and make sure you fix them because all that hard work you put into building your site or your client's site, you don't want someone to come along and destroy it or take advantage of it or somehow 
use it to their advantage and to your disadvantage. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below or in the private Facebook group. There's a link to it in the description down below. And make sure you click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on your screen so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.